Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. He came in nostalgia here. PlayStation 4 just released their new patch. They've added a few interesting features, and obviously the most interesting one, and the one that I want to talk about, is the PlayStation 4 Remote Play. You are able to now pretty much stream your PlayStation 4 onto your PC. This is something that isn't new. Remote Play's been around before. We've seen it with the Vita. I've been able to actually have Remote Play with my NVIDIA Shield Portable with the PlayStation 4. I've also been able to do it with my PC. I've been able to do it with a streaming service. So this is nothing terribly new, but it is interesting that we can do this on our PCs now. And it is very convenient because I only have one PS4. My wife likes to play on it more than I do. I mostly just play on PC, so the PS4 is hers. She does what she wants with it. So when she's not using it, sometimes I'll bring it up here. And it, it was a pain in the ass doing all the Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 stuff that I did. Because I was up and down the stairs with the PS4. I don't have to do that anymore. And another very nice thing about this is that if you're a content creator, you don't have to rely on PlayStation 4's shitty share function. 15 minutes of gameplay at a time, and then it cuts off your video, and then you have to upload it. It's such a pain in the ass. I can't even tell you guys how many times I've done a video on PS4 and then had to upload it to Facebook or upload it to YouTube and then download it on my PC. And then you have to add it to your editing software and then it's just, it adds too many steps. Now I can finally just stream this thing onto my PC, record on my PC. It's very nice, but there is a catch. There's a little bit of a latency, a little bit of a lag. And it does come with a price. You have to have a pretty beefy internet and you have to have a pretty decent router in order to really run this the way that it's intended to run. Otherwise, you're going to notice some pretty big lag spikes and problems. Now, before when I mentioned that I was streaming my PlayStation 4 onto my NVIDIA Shield, at that time I didn't have very strong internet. So I noticed a lot of very, very, very bad lag spikes to the point where it was unplayable. And um, it, it's just one of those things, it's, it's, it sucks, but it's just kind of the way it is. You have to have good equipment, and you have to have a decent internet speed. And if you do have those things, you're still going to notice a little bit of latency. I'd say it's somewhere under a second. I can't really nail down exactly where it is, but there is a delay. You're going to notice a delay no matter how strong your internet is or what kind of router you have. It might be only a minuscule delay. That's the thing. You really want to try to get it down to as small of a delay as possible and it's not going to be the same delay for everybody some people might have a whole second or longer making games completely unplayable so it's one of those things that it takes a little bit of troubleshooting it takes the equipment as i mentioned so just bear that in mind now this is something that is incredibly easy to set up i've seen guides already on youtube telling people how to do this i'm not going to do that guys it's so easy i'm just going to put the link in the description you download it you click on it you plug in your controller bada bing bada boom you're done if there's a problem then that's something you're going to have to trouble th troubleshoot and, and, and there's probably all sorts of different issues port forwarding nightmares that people are going to run into this kind of thing can really suck if your router is not set up for it most people are not going to have any problems setting this up i didn't have any trouble with it the only thing that sucks is as i said there's going to be that little bit of a delay so playing competitive multiplayer games it's not really an option you could but it's going to be frustrating because you're going to notice. You're going to notice that little bit of slowdown. The better you are at a game, as a matter of fact, you're going to notice it even more. Because you're just going to be more in the, in the zone in that game. And you're going to notice when that zone is off by a little bit. Just by a little bit, you will notice that performance dip. Now, I should mention that the resolution goes all the way up to 720p. I say all the way up. Well, that's not really very high, but it's not bad. It looks pretty good. You can get it to 60 FPS, I believe. The 30 FPS and 60 FPS are the options. I believe 30 FPS comes standard for everybody. You can bump it up to 60 FPS in the settings. I haven't messed with any of that yet, to be honest. I just wanted to get in the game and test it and see if there were any issues. I hadn't experienced any disconnections at all from, from what's going on with me. And my PlayStation 4 is downstairs in a wireless environment. The router is actually upstairs with me right next to the PC. So those of you with concerns, can I run this wireless? Can my PlayStation be wireless? Is it going to work? Do I have to have a bunch of wires? From where I'm sitting, it doesn't look like it. And I played for about an hour and didn't have any problems. I haven't done any extended tests over that, so I don't know. Maybe in three or four hours it'll just decide to shit the bed. I don't know. 
but at this point it's pretty stable it's playable just multiplayer is a no-go I shouldn't say multiplayer I should say competitive online multiplayer is obviously a no-go but nevertheless for a free update this is pretty cool I like it it's something that's fun to mess around with it's convenient for me obviously this is it's not gonna be something that everybody gets a benefit from but it's whatever as I said it's a free update it's pretty cool and I am having fun with it let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below have you tested this out how are your games running is it running good for you what's going on with your hardware let me know what kind of hardware you have if you're having any problems you might need to update that router if you guys like this video, please remember to leave a thumbs up. If you're new here, I ask that you please subscribe. I thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.